I started in fourth grade on violin. In high school, I switched to viola, and I loved it. I really took to it. When I was 15, I started playing professionally. You know, I was totally taken by life and music. I loved it so much. Well, the first thing that actually happened was I, I started noticing uh, that I had tinnitus. And I know now that that's related to hearing loss, but I didn't know that at the time. Then I started noticing that I had a little trouble with hearing conversation. It got worse and I realized I needed to go to an audiologist. So I was afraid I was going to be told I needed hearing aids, which is exactly what happened. That was a very difficult transition to start wearing hearing aids as a musician. I didn't wear them in concerts because I didn't like the sound. So I'd wear them in rehearsals because I needed to be able to hear what people were saying. Then it reached the point where I needed to wear my hearing aids all the time. That was a big turning point. And I was playing a cantata. There was a part called a recitative where it's very quiet and the conductor stops conducting and we just listen to the singer and go along with her. And I couldn't hear the singer. And it was torture because I just had to guess and I didn't know what I was doing. I immediately thought, I'm quitting, I'm gonna stop. And it was firm like that. I completely turned my back on music for three years. I didn't touch my instrument, I didn't play at all. When I stopped playing, I lost what I loved to do. I lost my social life, I lost my identity. But I started realizing that there were some hidden gifts of hearing loss. This started because I met an auditory rehabilitator. He asked me to do a presentation at a seminar he's putting together on hearing loss in music. So I told my story and I brought my violin and my viola and I did a little playing on both. And that, that took off. Then I started doing it for churches, retirement communities, senior centers, libraries, to find out there was a way I could communicate with people through music and also tell my story and advocate and educate about hearing loss. On the other side of grief, there was some sweetness. 